Uh, thanks, Kathleen. And by the way, I'm a native Marylander, and I've been there my whole life. So uh, not too many people in the room uh, are probably from this area. But uh, anyways, uh, good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. And I want to say uh, congratulations to Rachel and Mindy on the recognition that you're going to be uh, receiving tonight. Um, Toyota is excited to be a partner once again with, uh, with Earth Day Network. Uh, Kathleen said we've been um, collaborating and been uh, in partnership since 2000. So EDN has actually been uh, working with Toyota longer than I've been working with Toyota by one year. Um, but it's, it's a great collaboration and we appreciate it very much. Last fall, uh, Toyota's president, Akio Toyota, uh, announced a environmental challenge for our company, an environmental challenge for 2050. And the challenge consists of a number of specific targets related to where the company wants to go in 2050 related to environmental issues. Um, a couple of those challenges uh, include uh, a target to reduce our new vehicle CO2 emissions uh, by 90% uh, by 2050. Uh, another target uh, aims to move our manufacturing operations to a zero CO2 manufacturing operation. Uh, another target centers around um, significant reductions in water usage uh, and, and water reuse. And finally, another one of the targets uh, looks at establishing what we call a recycling-based society. I want to touch briefly in my remarks on two of those uh, challenges that were put down for the company. Um, first, the aim to reduce our new vehicle CO2 emissions by 90% by 2050. Uh, the Prius, as, as Kathleen referenced, uh, certainly was the first revolutionary step in this direction for our company back in the late 1990s. Um, Prius paved the way for a lot of different hybrid models that followed in the Prius's footsteps. And uh, to date, Toyota has sold over 8 million hybrids worldwide. And our estimates is that uh, those hybrids have reduced about 60 million metric tons of CO2. Uh, we recently launched the Prius Prime, which is our latest uh, plug-in um, hybrid. Uh, it's got totally new styling, great handling, a totally different ride aimed to appeal to a broader uh, consumer base now that hybrids have hit more of the mainstream. Uh, the vehicle has a 22-mile all-electric range, um, and it'll drive in all-electric mode up to 84 miles an hour. And it has an EPA fuel economy rating of 120 miles per gallon equivalent when combining the electric use with the gasoline use. Thank you. And by the way, that, that's that's twice the range of the the Prius uh, plug-in that was, you know was on the market previously. Um, but as we look to the next hundred years, uh, we really see hydrogen as a fuel that will uh, power not only vehicles but a large sector of our economy. Last year, Toyota began selling uh, our first hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle, the Toyota Mirai, which is is outside um, in California. Uh, the word Mirai in Japanese translates to the future. Future, and we do see this vehicle and this technology as the future. Um, unlike other electric drive vehicles that rely on large batteries to power the vehicle that have long recharge times and potentially limited range depending on the size of the battery, the Mirai can be refueled with compressed hydrogen in about five minutes and it has a driving range uh, over 300 miles uh, rated by EPA on a single tank. We're looking to expand the Mirai sales in the Northeast US uh, in, the, in the near future. We are working with um, infrastructure providers to develop refueling stations in five different states in the Northeast. So hopefully uh, you'll see some expansion of the market for this technology in the near future. If you haven't driven the Mirai, we will, not only are they parked outside tonight, but tomorrow morning we'll have a ride and drive where you'll have a chance if, if you so choose to, to drive the vehicle vehicle um, around the city here, and I think it's going to be on the 17th Street side uh, covered, covered porch entrance of the uh, hotel. Um, so the other um, environmental challenge is the recycling-based society, and uh, what we are really looking to do there is minimize the impact of our operations on uh, our resource use you know, across the life cycle of, of, of the product. 
And um, I've got a video that I'm going to show um, that uh, gets at this particular challenge. And it, it's, it's about a partnership that we have with the Yellowstone, um, in which we uh, have invested in some uh, solar and battery, uh, used Camry hybrid battery um, uh, to store electricity from, from the solar. Yellowstone's important because it represents a conservation movement in the United States and because of the natural landscapes and the wildlife uh, population, it certainly is something that needs to be preserved forever. I'm really looking forward to, to seeing this be in operation in the field. And that's really what this idea of going and seeing or Genji Gambutsu is really all about because it helps to put things in context. I shared a common set of values with Toyota. So we feel that we have a responsibility to help manage resources. And a lot of those resources are the environment around us. The park is looking to find its way off of fossil fuels. And then we were looking for a way to experiment with what can we do with some of our batteries that no longer have a useful life in cars, but have a lot of life left in them for other needs. I don't see him. Oh, they're right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They I went right I, across the I, front. I don't see him. I was too busy looking this way. The uh, Lamar Buffalo Ranch serves as an environmental education campus. It's off the grid, and there was uh, diesels and then propane generators that provided 24 7 power. Noisy, a lot of fuel consumption, and of course, pollution. As one of Toyota's solutions to being able to power our cars by alternative sources, we developed the hybrid battery system. As we looked at what to do with these batteries at the end of their useful life, we saw there was an opportunity. We came out for a visit, and as we visited the site, we realized there's a real need here. But then we started getting really excited because, man, nobody's ever done this. We have 208 of these Camry hybrid batteries that we've positioned to be charged by a solar panel array. We're capturing the sun and putting it inside these batteries. Welcome everybody. Uh, I'm pleased to announce that we're about to switch from the generator system to the batteries. The quiet is about to happen. Steve, we're ready. We have eight million hybrid vehicles on the road today. At some point in time, those batteries are going to need replacing. So imagine if we can do this with 200 batteries. Over time, what we could do with 8 million batteries. Anywhere in the world that has a need for power that is off the grid could work with this. The opportunities are endless.